all right guys in this video i'm just going to show you something that i've been struggling and i want to help you out as much as i can so how to make a satisfactory update 5 uh, dedicated server so the first thing you need to do is system cnd all the links will be down below and into the description so just go check it so once you have Steam cmd what you want to do is just extract files just extract here and you can get rid of that one just open it up so that it downloads all the files so once everything is downloaded it might take a bit just give it a bit of time That's awesome. So now just put quit. That'll be done. So what we want to do now is make a new file, which is going to be a text document file and we're going to call it start. So, or in this case it's better actually if you call it update, because this is what it actually is going to be doing. So just open it up and what you need to put is this code that I'm going to be sharing. It'll be all in the description. Just save it. But what you want to do is save as .bat, put it in all files mode and press save. And then you'll get this batch file, which all you need to do is open it up. And let's check it real quick. What you need to press is mainly private networks. This is my server computer. So usually I run all my Minecraft and every single game in here. I might do some tutorials about that. But for now, what we want to do is just wait till everything downloads. Well, as you guys can see, we are approaching the end of the conveyor. So let's see what we can do now. Okay. It's gonna take a bit longer, but it shouldn't take much longer this step. And really important, uh, the ports that you need to forward is uh, 15 and 3 7. So let me type it down for you guys while this is doing. So let me type it here. So these are the codes. 15777 and 15 three zeros and then there is another one which is 7777 these are the three ports that you need to forward they'll be in the description as well so we're coming to an end now and the way it works is really weird so you need to do it through this step and then uh, you'll have this called satisfactory dedicated server so if you open that what you need to do now you can open it through there but what I recommend is making another batch file in this case you call it start and in here what you want to put is this which will be in the description below as well so what you need to do now is save as and we put it dot bat and all files and press save there so at the moment that I'll be open now so what well, you want to make sure let me see I've got the server already running so I'm gonna just stop it right there and now what you want to do is just click it another important tip is what I've found is that sometimes it struggles with firewall so what you want to do is press obviously that you want to accept it allow access but in inbound rules there'll be something called steam cmd and this one so what you need to do is allow the connection and the same thing allow the connection in your firewall and just check that outbound and inbound both steam cmd and unreal engine 4 are enabled now this is doing all sorts of things 
the server the dedicated its server is running and what you need to do is go to your actual game so let me see if this is fully loaded it should disappear it should disappear all but that should be everything if this page still stays up what you need to do is just control C and then start it again and now when you turn it on again it should look like this and now let's go into the game once it's finished moving really cool things going on okay I think it's finished so let's go into the game so inside the game you need to go to server manager then you'll see the actual server uh, you'll have to add it through here so what you need to do is go to a web page called what is my public IP address and your public IP address goes here and then the part that you should have is this one the same so yeah then once it's on you will be able to authenticate so in this case I've already done it so I just put the password and I go in and I'm a client but the first time that the actual IP address has a server you will be able to claim it through this same process it won't say authenticate it will say this is an unclaimed server do you want to claim it and then is when you give the server the name in this case I gave it flates and then once you are um, the administrator which uh, in this case I've put the administrator code and I'm the administrator and you have access to everything but but the first time through this same in-game uh, UI you will be able to claim your server and then you can manage the saves and create a new save file etc so in this case in this case you can see the options you can access and now as an administrator I'm going to choose for example that biome and call it uh, world world and then you click that so that people can get in and press create game at the moment there is a glitch in the game and nobody can play together with your friends I don't know why but I have found that the only way to actually play is through um, the dedicated server at the minute so now uh, a signal is sent to your server so that it starts preparing a new save file but you uh, access everything through your actual game which is I think fantastic especially for managing purposes you can have a computer on all the time and log into it whenever you need so now the server which is in a different machine in my case is preparing everything for us and now it's connecting to the server you could also do it within your same computer I recommend having a spare computer that you can do it so now we are connecting as you can see it's glitching a bit but it's actually getting inside the game which is what we want and here we are in a new server a dedicated server you can keep it running and the performance is really good this is the new area and I hope you guys enjoyed it take care subscribe for more content and if you have any questions regarding this dedicated server or any other game just let us know now See you later.